Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. A little chilly this morning. Folks, winter's coming. In more ways than one. They're predicting mid to low 20s in the next few days. Here in my area, I know many of you are facing some colder weather already have but are facing some a, a good little cold front coming through and while it may just be temporary i hope that many of you it's a it's a kind of a motivational tool let's call it that it wakes you up and you realize that winter is coming and i'm not just talking about the cold weather although that is very important and we should you know be aware of that and I think a lot of times, you know, especially when we have a hot summer, which most of us did, uh, we, we kind of, oh, we can't wait till it cools off. Can't wait till it cools off. And then, then it starts getting cold. I'm like, oh man, I've got all this stuff I need to do before winter. So the message today is pretty simple. You need to be getting ready. Well, if you don't have things wrapped up by the end of this month, you've got a couple of weeks. I'd say you, you need to because at least this is true in my area. Maybe it's not in your area, but you know, we burn firewood for heat, a lot of people do. So based on just that alone, and propane's usually the same way, uh, probably coal. Uh, we don't have that in our area much, but I'd say it's probably similar. That by November, that's when most of the people start saying, oh my goodness, it's getting cold and I don't have enough wood. I need to fill my tank. I need to run out and buy some, some kerosene, you know, whatever it is. And so while the prices have probably been going up, I mean, we haven't bought any for a while because we're, we're well stocked, but, or, you know, I don't, I don't need to buy any, but I would say that there's gonna be some of you that still need to work on that. You need to get ready for it now there's also another type of winter coming uh, and i think a lot of you are very well aware of that that it's not just a the cold weather but it's the worsening of times there's so many out so much stuff out there in the news um, that certainly gives us indication that it's probably going to be a pretty rough winter for many people this is something that I've been talking about quite a while on here, trying to warn people that I'd say there's a pretty good chance that this winter is going to be a rough one. Uh, one of the things that is on my mind about this is this whole thing with Saudi Arabia and Joe Biden. and Who knows if it's all for show or if there's something actually real going on. But the thing is, just taking it on face value, Biden administration is trying to, you know, show some strength and tell OPEC and Saudi Arabia that they better play by our rules or we're going to do something about it. And that may have been true 20 or 30 years ago, but things have changed a lot. And one of the reasons or the big reason why we have that relationship is to protect them from Iran. But there's been a little indication over the last year or so that the relationship with Saudi Arabia and Iran may actually be getting a little bit better. And it's mostly because of Russia. So there's that to look at. And then I'm pretty sure that China would be more than willing to jump in and tell Saudi Arabia, well, fine, if the United States wants to do that, we'll step in and, and we'll offer protection and, and, and work with you. So this whole you know, beating of the chest by the Biden administration could very well backfire. And if that is the case, if that does happen, uh, winter's gonna be pretty rough just on that issue alone. Um, gas prices, and, when I, and I'm not talking about it, your car gas, I'm talking about natural gas and, and propane. Uh, those don't seem to be, <laughs> there's no indication that those are gonna get cheaper anytime too soon. It's coming folks. And I know, I know that most of you watching are doing your very best 
to get yourselves prepared. I talk to people every day in person, on online, uh, all over the phone, all the time. Met with a, a group of folks last night, uh, some of our friends, and and we're all just just you know like little busy bees getting ready for the winter time. So I know that that's true with many of you because I get the feedback, and I, you know, number one, good, good job. Um, I'm not on here to tell you that you're not doing enough. You're not going to survive if you don't kick it in high gear. Well, many of you are like, my goodness, I don't know how much more I can kick it into. Keep doing what you're doing. Push yourself. It's like I tell my kids, when you think you're doing enough, when you think you've, you've gotten it right, push yourself a little harder. Try to exceed that and do the same thing when you're in your preparations. You know, if you say, man, we've, we've tightened up our budget and, and we're able to squeeze out a, an additional $200 a month to put towards preparations, whatever that is. And you're, you're, you're proud of yourself. That we've, we've squeezed out $200 a month out of our budget. Well, now push for 250. That kind of stuff, because there's just too many, too many signs indicating that there's a very rough road ahead, that the, the sea is, is about to, to change and, and we need to get ready. And, and the, the reason why I think there's such a, a, a fervent, you know, push from, at least on my part, is because of it being winter. Because it's always harder. I mean, even the Bible speaks of that, you know, to pray that your flight doesn't have to happen during winter. <clears throat> it just makes things tougher. It's, you can't grow food. I mean, unless you got a greenhouse and stuff, but generally you can't grow food. Things are bedded down. It's colder. It's, it's just more taxing on the body. There's less you're actually able to do. So, Get yourselves ready. There's a, my kids recently, they, they love watching Little House on the Prairie. I, they have the whole series on DVD and they've watched the whole thing from start to finish a few times, but every once in a while they pop in a particular, you know, episode when they're allowed to watch TV. And one of the episodes, I don't remember all the details. I've watched them all many times myself, but there's this one episode where they go through a really bad winter and it showcases how hard it is and, and the amount of work. Now, our situations may be much different because, you know, we have more modern conveniences. We have a, a better safety net. Still, even under the cur current uh, situation, we have a better safety net than they would have back in those times. But nonetheless, I think we're still going to experience a little bit harder time. Prices of stuff is gonna be higher. Um, there's, I don't think there's any way around that or, or even any way to, to argue that point. Uh, they're continually going up, even though the numbers came out for last month and most experts was, were saying that, that September was gonna be a lot better. And in, in some ways it was, but it, it really wasn't. And starting from this point forward, it's just going to keep getting worse. Lots of layoffs. There's going to be a lot of people out of work going through the winter months. It's very likely that we could experience a harsher winter, at least for a lot of you. And then who knows what's going to happen on the geopolitical front. It looks pretty rough in that way too. So I'm not on here to... To, to, to be all doomsday though. You know, I'm not on here to, to terrify you and say, oh, the sky is falling. It's, it's all coming to an end next month. We've got 30 days left before we all perish. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying that there's a pretty good indication that there's a rough road ahead, folks. And it'll probably bleed over into spring. And from that point, it's really hard to tell where things will go because so much is happening. I mean, we can sit here all day and argue over predictions of what 2023 is gonna be like, 
the reality is that there's so many things that are happening that could happen over the next two to three months that could drastically change the direction of the United States and the rest of the world that it's it's really difficult. I mean, there's a few things. I think food's going to be pretty expensive. If you just look at everything and the increased price, the cost of doing business to produce food. Um, if the weather patterns continue like they, you know, similar to this year, it's just going to make things a lot worse. And every indicator is, is that they are for a while still. It's time to get yourselves ready, folks. That's one of the main reasons why I do what I do on here. And why many other YouTubers and, and other people around the country are doing their best to try to wake people up. It's not to get you all worked up and afraid. It's not to make you feel like you're just not ready enough. I mean, none of us are completely ready for everything. I was talking to some folks recently and, you know, he's was telling me, he's like, I'm, I'm kind of an expert in th this area, but this other area that's also really important, I'm really a newbie to that. I'm really still trying to learn it. He said, and I feel this, this pressure to, you know, get, get, learn, get the, my expertise on as fast as I can, you know? And so <clears throat> we're all in the same boat in a, one way or the other. Sure, some are more ready than others, but still. <clears throat> it's not gonna probably be very good. And we just need to accept that. The military term for that I've used a few times, embrace the suck. Just accept that that's what's going on. That's how it's gonna be. You spend too much time worrying about it hoping that it'll change or trying to figure out how you can make it better. And then all that time and energy is taken up and not used for actually getting yourselves ready. So my advice would just be to embrace it for now. It is what it is. You're not gonna be able to change it most likely. You can make micro changes in your life. The odds are we're not able to do any macro changing of things. So just come to accept it, keep fighting, keep pushing forward, keep working harder, get yourselves prepared even more, stack the wood, stack the beans and rice, stack the bullets, keep training yourself, developing your skill set making contact with others, prepare for more pr production and plan for it so that you can produce more food and more self-sustainability. And in the end, really, that's about all we can do other than the spiritual part. That's something we also need to work on. And I think that's for everyone too. Fall's coming in pretty quick, it feels, around here. We went from Really, really hot, hot summer. To some pretty chilly weather. I think I might actually fire up the fireplace, and the wood stove this weekend. It's starting to look that way. So I'll do some final checks probably today. Make sure it's ready to go. Get it all cleaned out good. It should already be that way, but I'm going to check it anyway. And probably set aside a little stack on the porch so we're ready to go and that's how we should look at everything not worry and fret about it just accept it and move forward don't be the type that's sitting there when the wave hits just worrying about that wave hitting get up and do something about it get up and get to higher ground get up and get ready for it because you're not stopping it but you can affect yourself and change yourself. And that's where we need to focus. You may not be able to change the world, but you can change you. And in a sense, that is changing the world. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order. 
I say this every day. And I say it because I'm hoping that some of the time at least, it's enough to kind of jar someone to their senses and encourage others to go a little bit further. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.